but just quickly go through gearing if you haven't geared specifically priest the first day but you can pretty much do it as anything so you log in and there's a lad here right and he gives you some quests it'll be like the sparks one and some bg1 and a blood one right so you you get all those quests and then you go and you fly out to this island here i think it's this one and there'll be a, lo a load of lads pvping most likely there and this is where you want to get your, your sparks, right? So you complete your quests there. And if there's not too many people there, you can do world quests as well around Isle of Dawn. And that can help as well. And once that's done, you come back, you hand that shit in. You'll have your blood shards or whatever it's called. Blood tokens, that'll be capped. So you can go in here. You can ball in here. And there's this loser here, right? So from him, you want to buy the cloak. Because it's got high mastery on. And you want to buy the boots. Because there's not many other great items. Generally you want to be versa mastery. Once you've done that. Then you want to start queuing some twos. Uh, or, or threes or whatever you want. To be honest. But you want to get 1600. Uh, after four games you'll get a quest. Right. And when you hand that quest in. You'll get nine epic heraldries nine of these but epic right and with those you can craft what i did is i crafted the belt and the legs both versa mastery because the legs from your tier set suck they're he's crit crit heavy you don't want them so you can craft these legs instead they're way better and now you've got a chunky piece that costs you five the belt costs you four of the heraldry on the belt you can put a socket so if you've got any sockets you can put a socket on it and you can whack your precog in there and then you can also put, right now you can put the double uh, embellishment thingy on. The, it's called, uh, I can't remember what it's called actually. What's the double double embellishment called? Check. Anyway, I'll, I'll check in a second. And then what you also can do is you can grab a couple of the blue ones. They're like 175 honor each. So you grab a couple of the blue ones. And you can craft some other bits, right? So you can do your weapon. And you put Ascendance on it with the embellishment. Obviously Versa Mastery. You can do your Offhand. Again, Versa Mastery. I believe you could do that as a Staff as well if you want. Same thing. I actually did a Ring as well. Because the other Ring was a Versa Haste Ring. So we get Versa Mastery there as well now. And then I did Neck as well. And you can actually upgrade these items, right? If you, if you recraft them. So you can put your Sockets on these now. And when you recraft it into the Epic version... You'll keep the sockets. So you can whack your sockets on early doors now, basically, as you get them. So that's your blue bits. Then, as, as you carry on to 1600, when you get to 1600, you will be probably conquest capped by then. So you can go and you can buy the chest from in here. When you upgrade it, does it keep enchantment? Too? I, I'm not sure if it keeps the enchant, actually. Anyway, you can go in here. You can buy this chest, right? Uh, either of these, they're fine. And then you can go over here. Writhing Armor Band was the embellishment for belt that I used. True. So you go here, and this is where you can upgrade, or sorry, you can transfer it to tier, right? So you do that with your, your PvP chest. You get this one. And then you go to the post. Once you're 1600, you should get a free piece in the post. You get some currency in the post. And then what you do is you go down here, right? And underneath this middle bit, there's a flight path. Next to the flight path guy, there's two vendors, I believe. And you make sure you pick the right one. Because one of them sells the tier with PvP upgrade on. The other one sells the heroic tier. You want the, up, the PvP upgrade one. And then you can grab that. You'll get the helm. And now you've got your two-piece. And then with the remaining conquest points, what I did is just grab shoulders. You could... Keep your old shoulders and grab upgrade stuff and maybe upgrade a ring or whatever. But I just did the shoulders because it's easier. And then, yeah. Any other items, what you can do if you want a bit more mastery, you can craft them. And get the, you know, with the blue heraldries again. And grab the 626 pieces instead of your honor farmed pieces. And then you'll have a little bit more mastery on them. As opposed to these standard pieces. So that's what I've done on the gloves there. And that's it. That's pretty much where we're up to so far. For first day gearing, uh, and basically once you've done all that, you'll be be ready for shuffles or whatever bracket you want to want to try hard. So that is that is the gearing process day one.
All enchants rank three. Yeah, I mean, the enchants are like self explanatory, right? Uh, I've just put like int mana on here, int mana on here, int proc on here, speed, 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 and then curse mastery on rings. Uh, yeah, gems are just mastery versa. But yeah, spend your honor on the blood shard thingies. These, they're selling for a lot at the moment, but yeah, you just keep buying those pretty much as, as you're going up. You get loads of honor for shuffles, and yeah. Gem your fucking gear, good to go. You obviously want to gem the pieces you're going to keep. So that's why I've obviously grabbed these and upgraded them. I'll probably, do, I'll, I'll probably craft some braces as well. So I can put gem in that, and then gems in the rings. Can you get pre-cog? Yeah, pre-cog on, pre on the thing. Cognitive bloodstone. Right, done. See you tomorrow.